You want me to stand here? <laughs> okay. Yes. First of all, thank you, Ramsey and Corinne, for a beautiful welcome and the right invocation to what we have to do today. So, as I'm Margaret Levy, and I'm the academic in the group. So I want to talk a little bit about why I think issues of ownership and property rights are so important. And part of what we're doing is really thinking about the origins of the, of the contemporary account of private property, why we think about private property the way we do. And I'm not going to go as far back as Friedrich Engels did, or my friend Doug North, or David Graeber, and go back to the first agricultural revolution, we're really starting with the 17th, 18th century view of property that originated with people like John Locke, really emphasizing private property as the exclusion of others, the stream of benefits to the owner, and a basis, they claimed, for both freedom and economic development. How did that work out? Not so well. Uh, but there are some real advantages to that form of property in terms of certain kinds of economic growth, but not all the kinds of things we care about. So in thinking about how to reorganize private property and to think about other forms of property, we need to remember what the advantages and disadvantages of each system are. But the most important thing, I think, to remember is that property rights, however we define them, and ownership rights, however we define them, are social and political constructions. They're not natural. They're something we, as a collective, decide to do and enact. Sometimes with ill effects, sometimes with good effects, and that's got to be kept in mind. Now, the word we use, gee, you still didn't get it right, is desiderata. <laughs> so those things that we want to achieve. So instead of starting with the assumptions of a lock, about what kind of things we want out of private property. Let's begin again and rethink that from the current era and think about what we really want property to achieve. So I'm not gonna go through the whole critique of old forms of private property, but really think about what we want. And this is a first stab as a list. So one of the things that I hope that we can do at various moments in this meeting is people come up with better ideas than this. This is what Emily and I have been working from, but Emily Russell, who's in the back there, raise your hand, Emily. Um, the first is, of course, material well-being. And this is not just economic growth as defined by um, the normal measures of aggregate wealth, but how do we really ensure that people flourish? How do we ensure that they get what they need? The second goal, second desiderata, is sustainability of Earth and its species and of various cultures that have really contributed to our society. Again, thank you for starting us off with thinking about that. The third is some variant of equality and equity, and we've been talking a lot about relational equality, but there are other forms of that, so we're still working about that, the best framing of this. So our focus is on land, housing, natural resources, <coughs> intellectual property, but also labor. And I want to spend a, my last minute um, emphasizing labor. So once labor is a property right, it's a, it's, we own our labor. Sometimes others have owned our labor. There's been enslavement. There's still forced labor in a variety of ways that we're fighting that's in principle illegal, but still is enacted in all kinds of places. And that's where someone else owns our time and control over our body and our product. But if we think about today, there is still an issue about ownership. We sell, I'm going back to Karl Marx here, so back into the 19th century, but he thought of labor as a commodity. That was a critical piece of his argument about capitalism, that labor had been turned into a commodity that could be bought and sold. And it's still bought and sold. And we have fights over how long the working day should be, what the safe conditions are to work in, what how we think about that. And I want to bring that back into the discussion of property rights as a central feature. It's what a lot of us have to think about, is how do we own, control, protect our rights and our ownership of our own labor. Thank you. <laughs>